20 minutes. You'll see how to fry chicken without any grease, cook vegetables without water, and make a beautiful harvest salad in less than a minute. So half of the cake, give or take. Close enough for government work. Put that in there. Now we're going to put in some water. Then we get egg and the cake mix in some water. We skip the oil. Oil's tough on your digestive system. That's why we don't use it in our show at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it only takes 15 minutes to bake a cake in our pants. A lot of people have stopped baking because it takes too long. Or it heats up the house in the summer if you turn on your oven. So, good news here is we're not going to use an oven at all. And we're going to bake the cake in 15 minutes starting from a cold pan. And we won't even ice the cake because it'll be in the moist enough to where you don't need icing. Pretty much ready to roll. We're going to get started here in just a minute or two. If you haven't seen our show before, come in and grab a seat. The best seats are toward the middle. You can see in the mirror. Oh my head. <laughs> if you haven't seen our demonstration yet, we've been at the fair for 20 years demonstrating our products. It's for health conscious people. Got any help left in You're going to love this. Go ahead and kill the music. We'll get started a little bit early here. All right, let's switch the clock here. How many came to see the cooking show? How many came to sit and rest? How many don't know why you're here? Join the club. <laughs> I'm here for 10 days, 10 hours a day, so I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you to the Better Health Cooking Show, sponsored by Healthcraft. My name is Jeff. I'll be your show host today. If you haven't seen one of our demonstrations, we feature waterless and greaseless cooking. We cook all the meals without water and oil for your health. Now, our company is uh, 71 years old, since 1939. We started back then with an old-fashioned salad machine. A lot of people remember these. This little machine does all sorts of different things in your kitchen. It has a big suction cup on the bottom. Just turn the plunger in, it locks it on the counter. Comes with all five surgical steel blades, all numbered on the bottom. And it comes with a book to show you how to use it. We're going to start off with blade number one. I was doing a show once. A lady ordered two of these machines from me. I asked her what impressed her the most. She said the cheese. I guess she didn't get out of her house much. <laughs> when you buy cheese, always get it bulk form. A lot of people buy cheese grated. The stores charge about a dollar for an ounce of cheese. I bought this cheese for four dollars a pound. That's 25 cents an ounce. It's a quarter of the price. Save me lots of money. If you like natural flavor, scuff a lemon, orange, or a lime. One blade number one. It's called zest. This is where all the natural oil of the fruit is. Much more concentrated flavor. And you can still use the lemon for sweet tea or lemonade. There's enough lemon flavoring here for an entire batch of cookies, pies, or cakes if you like to bake. We're going to make a lemon zest cake today. All you have to do is put a little bit of lemon zest in it. Comes out delicious. No icing. And if you like to bake, cut a pumpkin in strips like I've done here. Leave the skin on it and face it away from the blade though. This will not only chop it, it'll peel it. All in one easy operation. No other machine in the world can cut and peel your vegetables. Now this isn't a magic trick. There's just a gap in the back of the blade and the skin never hits it. Cream that together with brown sugar, nutmeg, and cinnamon. You've got a delicious pie filling. Anybody ever made a pumpkin pie from scratch? How long does it take to cut the pumpkin out? Hmm. Yeah, it'll take you all day. You can do the whole pumpkin in about 10 minutes with this. It'll save you a lot of time. If you have kids that won't eat their vegetables, just run their fingers through the machine and when they scream, throw the food in their mouth. I'm just kidding. Take a carrot, run it through blade number one, hide it between two slices of whole wheat bread. A little honey in there. Tastes like a carrot cake you don't have to bake. You can use this cut for your carrot and raisin salads, salad toppings, coleslaw. If you have infants to feed, you should make your own baby food. Homemade baby food is about 10 cents a serving instead of a dollar. Save you a lot of money because your baby's going to eat three times a day. Save you three bucks a day on the baby. And if you like celery, but you don't like the tough strings in the back part, get caught in your teeth and hooks. You don't have your own snappers, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, the jokes are subtle. Take the strings, face them away from the blade, and, and chop your celery for tuna fish or egg salad. 
and also de-string it because the strings never hit the blade. Throw them away. Holds number cutting, no juices dripping. Machine doesn't crush the food, it cuts it. Look at all the juice wow. still in the sourdough. See, that's where the juice, uh, that's where all the flavor comes from in your vegetables. That's why you shouldn't use water when you're cooking your veggies. The juices are water soluble. Then we pour them down the drain and most of our flavor goes down the drain with the water we cook it. Now, most people know the United States is the best fed country, but it's also the most malnourished. How do we do both? We buy the right foods and then cook them the wrong way. And if you don't believe me, look at the fair food. We got deep fried everything. <laughs> we become a junk food nation. We eat out too much too. Biggest problem we have in America is we're always in a hurry. We'll get home from a busy day. Let's say we're going to make some mashed potatoes. First thing most people do is they grab a potato and a paring knife and they start to dig the potato's eyes out. That's to make sure it can't see what's going to happen to it next. <laughs> Skin them alive. Where do we put the peels of our potatoes? Trash. In the trash. trash. Where are the minerals and vitamins? In the skin. In the trash. Yeah. Where's our health? In the trash. In the trash. We'll show you how to get your health out of there. <laughs> if you want to cook a potato, don't peel it. Just get it clean. Put this in one of our pans on low heat. You can bake potatoes in Healthcraft Cooker in only 15 minutes. Not an hour in your oven. When they come out, they're delicious. You don't need any butter or salt. If you'd rather have mashed potatoes, cook them the same way. And after they're cooked, put a bowl of warm milk underneath the machine and run them through like I'm going to do here. Cream this together with warm milk. It makes healthy, delicious mashed potatoes. If we still cook the old-fashioned way, the skin gets peeled off. Throw it in the garbage. This part of the potato is what most people boil in a pan of water. This dissolves in the water while we're cooking and goes down the drain. That's potato juice. You know, they use that to make vodka. We throw it away. I don't know what we're thinking. Could have been a martini. This is what we eat. Starch, fat, and bulk. A bug wouldn't eat that. But if you mix a stick of butter with it, we'll eat it. We call it mashed potatoes. I don't think Americans really like mashed potatoes. I think they just want an excuse to eat a stick of butter and some salt. Now today I'm going to cook a complete meal. It takes about 12 minutes. I'm not going to use any water for the vegetables. No grease for the meats. Make a salad in less than a minute. No butter or salt on the food. Very healthy stuff. We cook live food for live people. Is everybody here still alive? Yes. I hope so. First thing on the menu is going to be the cake. I'll show you how to bake without the oven. This is our liquid core electric saucepan. You can do things in our cookware you can't do in regular pans you buy in a store. And one of them is you don't need an oven to bake. You don't even have to preheat it, which saves you a lot of money. I don't know if you've ever thought about it, but every time you preheat your oven and you're not using it, you're wasting money. Now, what we did here is we started with a cold pan, and we mixed up the cake mix, if you were here earlier. All we used in the cake mix is just the regular cake mix, one egg, and some water. We skipped the oil. The oil is the least healthy of the three ingredients. The reason you need oil when your cake mix is when you use your oven is your oven is a big, dry, hot box. All it does is dry things out. That's why you should never put meat in an oven. What happens to a turkey if you don't baste it? dries out. Same thing with your cakes. That's why if you try this cake after the show, that even though there's no icing on it, it'll be delicious. You don't need icing even. So it's a very healthy, low-calorie cake. All right. Next, we're going to do the vegetables. The first vegetable on the menu. What's that? Did you have a question? Yeah, that, that one's an electric one. You could do it in the electric skillet too, but you can do it in any of these pans. You can bake a cake in this one. It doesn't matter. You don't need an electric piece to bake a cake. It takes about two minutes longer to bake it. Now we're going to do the vegetables. What's that? Oh yeah, I make a pineapple upside down cake in that in about 30 minutes. One of the best pineapple upside down cakes you ever have in your life. Anyway, we're going to cut the veggies up now. The first vegetable on the menu is fresh carrots. You don't want to peel them. The minerals and vitamins are in the peel. Just get them clean on the outside, run them through the machine. See how evenly the food is cut? When the food's cut evenly, it cooks evenly. That's why you should get one of these machines if you have a good set of cookware, but you're not using it right yet. 